Hello all, Snow here. I'm here with a tutorial sorts, and as evident from the title of this video, I'll be covering how to work on connections with XML. Please do excuse my incompetence in explaining things, as by no means I'm a professional content creator. If I do miss out on explaining anything, please do go ahead and contact me via the comments. As this tutorial is intended for complete beginners in XML, I will do have to go through some basic explanation of concepts. If you're kind of looking for the tutorial only, then please do go ahead and skip to the time that I present to on the screen. Please feel free to just listen for now, this section will be mostly me talking. So before we get into the actual tutorial, I do have to explain some things, and I won't be explaining the entirety of XML modeling right now, but there are some things that I do need explaining in order to understand how connections body work. So in simple planes, the crafts you see in-game are generated from the XML file it is associated with. Within the XML files are like a crucial set of extensions called connections found at the bottom of the file. Connections are going to be the uh, lines of XML that, as its name says, tells the game how and which parts are connected. While building, especially moving things, the designer may not particularly be nice to you and may sometimes create connections between parts that you don't want connections in between. It's particularly evident when you work with smaller parts and usually ends up in things breaking, things not moving, etc. So take note that I said that the connections area in XML also states how the parts are connected. It's particularly important because for parts that interact with other parts, a detacher comes to mind. Each connectable side of the detacher performs a different function. You probably want, don't want anything you need in your plane for your plane to fly, like wings connected to the detaching end of the detacher, and that's when your uh, XML water your connections comes in handy. At this point, I've pretty much explained everything um, you need to know in order to understand why learning how to XML mod your connections is important. So, on to the actual tutorial video. So, thank you for suffering through my terrible monologue. So, what I have here is going to be used for the purpose of demonstration. Please note, I'm using the connections visualizer that comes with the designer suit mod in order to display the connections in a more approachable manner. So, here's a fuselage part, and here's a rotator. This here is a fuselage part I want to connect to both. Now if I were to try to connect this manual in the designer, the connections will usually bug out and not be able to properly connect the parts as I intend them to. So instead, I nudge all the parts into proper positions I want them to be in, as I've done already, and then we'll modify the connections in XML. Also as a side note, um, always make sure that you have a backup before touching anything in XML. I can't stress this enough, sometimes we make a mistake and might lose an entire build because of error you can't find later. And now that I've saved this build, uh, we'll go into the game files and edit the connections. So here is the XML file to build I was just working on. In the connections section of the XML file, I pasted this format I often use to create the connections in XML. Before getting to anything, I'll explain how the connection XML is structured. So first, the part A and B simply state the two parts that have a connection. And then, the attach points A and B state how these parts are connected. So, in simple planes, each type of part, like be it a fuselage part or a detacher or anything, um, has its own unique set of like, connection points, starting from connection point zero. For most cases, where you connect two fuselage parts, I use this format simply because it's simpler, and allows for easier organization. And there are some types of parts, like detachers, um, that are really heavily affected by how you connect them. With that in mind, I'll be using the overload mod to obtain the part number of each of the parts I'll be connecting. It's a good idea to write this down somewhere, so we don't forget, um, I usually do that on paper. Now, using the designer suit mods uh, the connections visualizer, we can clearly see that no connections exist between the parts in concern yet. Back to the XML file. Here, since we know the um, part IDs for parts in concern, we can now create our connections. We're going to fill in the blanks. Here, I'm going to add a connection between the bottom ledge fuse lodge and the right side fuse part. And here, I'm going to be adding the connection between the rotator and the right side fuse lodge part. We'll be adjusting the attach point for the rotator, as how the parts are connected is quite important for rotators. And make sure now to save, and we'll be loading the edited craft in the designer. With the 
help with the connections visualizer, you can see that I've accidentally connected the wrong end of the rotator to the fuselage part. You're gonna have to change that. So back in the XML file, we're gonna change the attach point for the rotator part and save again. Now we load this back in the designer and now we can see that it's been properly connected. Well, there it is. We've achieved the goal of having the um, small and the small fuselage part and the rotator become connected to the larger fuselage part. And without a touch in the designer, we, we did that all through XML. Well, there it is. And you can apply this in many ways to, I don't know, fix a problem with your build, I guess. If something isn't moving, and it should be, maybe there's a connection problem, you can go back to your XML of that build and try to fix that. Uh, well, I'm going to leave it at there, and thank you so much for watching, and hope you enjoyed it.